INS Vagir, the fifth submarine of the Calvary class submarines, has been commissioned into the Indian Navy. The submarine, which has been built by Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders Limited in India with technology transfer from France, was commissioned in a ceremony attended by Chief of Naval Staff Admiral R. Hari Kumar. Admiral R. Hari Kumar said, Vagir is a lethal platform with a formidable weapon package. Vagir is the third submarine inducted into the Navy in a span of 24 months. It's also a shining testimony to expertise of our shipyards to construct complex and complicated platforms. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how formidable is India's new INS Vagir submarine. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. India needs a formidable submarine fleet for a variety of reasons. Submarines are an important tool for protecting a country's maritime borders and interests. India has a vast coastline and a significant exclusive economic zone EEZ, and submarines are an effective way to patrol and defend these areas. The presence of submarines can act as a deterrent to potential aggressors like China as they can be used for both offensive and defensive operations. Chinese submarine force has expanded rapidly and possesses around 70 submarines. INS Vagir is a Calvary class vessel. The Calvary class is a class of diesel electric attack submarines based on the Scorpene class submarine being built for the Indian Navy. On the 6th of October 2005, India signed a series of contracts for the transfer of technology to construct six submarines in Mazagan Dock Limited with Armaris, the supply of equipment and services with the Government of France, and the supply of SM-39 Exocet missiles with MBDA. The entire contract is valued at $4.16 billion. The deal included a 30% offset clause, and the submarines were to be delivered over five years, starting in 2012. The Scorpene design won the deal because of the capability to fire Exocet anti-ship missiles and an agreement on the air-independent propulsion. There were plans to incorporate indigenously developed air-independent propulsion system onto the last two submarines, but this was cancelled due to a delay in development. A plan to buy three more submarines under the options clause was cancelled in September 2016. The Calvary class is capable of anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, intelligence gathering, mine laying, as well as surveillance. It has a length of 67.5 meters, that's 221 feet, and a height of 12.3 meters, or 40 feet, and displaces around 1,615 tons when surfaced and 1,775 tons when submerged. The submarine can operate at a depth of 300 meters. It's brimming with many sensors, details of which are kept under wraps. The hull, fin, and hydroplanes are designed for minimum underwater resistance. The vessels are manufactured with special high tensile steel so that they can withstand high stress and hydrostatic force. Calvary class submarines have a low acoustic signature, which makes them difficult to detect by sonar. They also have a distinctive anechoic coating on the hull to absorb sound waves and reduce the submarine's radar cross-section. All the types of equipment are mounted on shock-absorbing cradles to lower acoustic signatures, making the class a very silent one. Due to its stealthy nature, it's hard to detect and track. Calvary class vessels have four MTU 12V 396 SE 84 diesel engines and has 360 battery cells. These power a silent, permanently magnetized propulsion motor. It can reach a top speed of 20 knots, that's 37 kilometers per hour when submerged, 
and a maximum speed of 11 knots or 20 kilometers per hour when surfaced. The submarine has a range of 6,500 nautical miles, 12,000 kilometers, at 8 knots or 15 kilometers per hour when surfaced, and a range of 550 nautical miles or 1,020 kilometers at 4 knots, 7.4 kilometers per hour when submerged. The Calvary class can accommodate up to 18 heavyweight torpedo or anti-ship missiles and 30 sea mines. INS Vagir, like all other Calvary vessels, will be equipped with an SUT torpedo and Exocet anti-ship missile. The SUT is a wire-guided heavyweight torpedo manufactured by Atlas Electronic. The SUT torpedo is designed to operate in both deep and shallow water and against surface and underwater targets. The SUT has a range of 15 nautical miles at 18 knots or 8 nautical miles at 35 knots. The SUT is already fitted aboard the Shishumar class submarine of the Indian Navy. It's expected that in the future these submarines will be equipped with Varunastra, a heavyweight torpedo developed in India by the DRDO. Exocet, built by MBDA, is a sea skimming, subsonic, solid fueled anti ship missile. It uses inertial guidance for mid course and active radar for the last leg of the flight. It travels at an altitude of only 2 meters above the sea surface, making it hard to detect and intercept. Due to this flight profile, it's most likely that the missile may not be detected till it's only about 6 kilometers or 3.7 miles from the target, leaving very little time to react. The latest variant is powered by a solid propellant booster and a turbojet motor, enabling it to hit targets at a distance of 180 kilometers or 110 miles. INS Vagir also has C-303S anti-torpedo decoys for self-defense. China has been increasing its submarine presence in the Indian Ocean in recent years, which has been a source of concern for India and other regional countries. The Chinese Navy has been deploying its submarines, including nuclear-powered submarines, to the Indian Ocean on a more frequent basis primarily for the purpose of training and gathering intelligence. China's submarine deployments in the Indian Ocean are also seen as part of its broader naval expansion and string of pearls strategy, which aims to establish a network of military bases and other strategic assets in the region. INS Vagir will add to the capabilities of the Indian submarine force. The Scorpene class is considered to be one of the quietest diesel-electric submarines in service around the world currently. INS Vagir also has an endurance of around 45 days. These factors, coupled with the ability to carry a formidable set of weapons, make INS Vagir a potent asset. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.